Hello and welcome to stage six of Speed Rush 5, racing for the Ferrari Daytona SP3. My starting upgrades cost $1,167,700 R dollars and 170 gold. And here's something that you never see me do. I'm going to tilt A controls and steering assist high. More on that in a second. I messed up my first run, so this is my second run. For Daytona Speedway and Indianapolis Motor Speedway, so the speedways, not the road courses. I love steering assist high. It seems to help to smooth the inputs a bit, especially when you're riding high up against the wall like you see me doing here. And that's where I'm gonna stay. I'm keeping it on the wall, going down a little bit to build some speed like you'd see in actual racing. Otherwise, the longest distance around this track is right up against the wall. So that gives me more time to build speed. Now I have to go uphill a little bit to get up here, but then I get the downhill, uh, I the exit, so it evens out. Uh, you might have noticed a discrepancy between the upgrades I listed yesterday and what I listed today. It's the exact same upgrades, but I listed a different R dollar cost. That's because I forgot to include the cost of stage one upgrades, which was an additional 690,300. So the R dollar cost I showed was just uh, stage two upgrades, for the engine and tires and wheels. So I apologize for that. Today is definitely the correct starting number and we'll see how far I can go with those upgrades. As you can see, we're getting near the end of this stage and I have not hit average speed yet. If I have to, I will drive down from the top to the bottom right at the line here. Oh, there we go, I already hit it, that's awesome. I'll still do it anyway. There we go. So, still that's the upgrades I needed to finish stage 5.3. They're still working so far. Let's see how far I can go. So here we've got to hit a certain speed five times. I switched back to tilt B controls. I'm so used to it. Honestly, I have less trouble holding this car steady. Now I purposely went up high right away and uh, you got to hit speed and then lift off the accelerator a bit. I think you only need to slow down about 10 kilometers an hour, but I'm gonna probably do about 15 kilometers an hour just to make sure that's enough. So what would that be? That's about 5%. So I'd say that's probably, they don't ever give us the exact number, but I'd say it's about 5%. Well, there I only slowed down to 336. So let's see if I can hit speed again here. Only going, so I'm gonna steer down a little bit out of here. Oh, that worked. Cool. Okay, so 346 to 336, that's 10. I'm just chewing on the math for a bit. That's about 3%. So that's not, that's less than I thought. I know if you don't slow down enough, it won't count. So just be careful with that. So I'm just gonna say approximately 3%. I don't know exactly. Still, this isn't difficult. There's, there's lots of space to do that. This is probably a precursor to what's coming up. I'm surprised there's been no traffic to contend with at all. So I doubt that's gonna last. I mean, here I've already hit my speed. So not much to worry about. Um, maybe I should drag the race out a little bit. Ooh, that's dramatic. I slowed that down a little bit. Well, that can happen. The car can hit a seam in the wall and just go flying. That's kind of funny, isn't it? All right, so let's see if we can finally get into some traffic. Yes, there's a drafting requirement. Well, that should be interesting. What are we contending with? Well, it's a Venom F5. Now, don't you get all worried. You would think a Venom F5 should totally take off. And I would agree with you because a Venom F5 has better grip than this car in the corners. However, Zoe's driving. So we have time to catch her. Now the way I'm going to do this is I want to hit speed, so I'm, I'm keeping it up against that wall and then I'm going to drive out down from this at the corner at the exit. And if I can hit speed here, I'll do a reset. Maybe I shouldn't. And I wasn't sure if I dipped it far enough so I went down more. Maybe it's better to keep it pinned through this whole section and catch up to Zoe because there's lots of time to hit the speed requirement. But this is how I'm doing it and you'll see this works fine too. So here I can do a drive down, hit my speed again. And maybe I should have kept it pinned and got some drafting in. I'm making this more difficult on myself maybe than I have to, but eh, you just watch. It's really not that difficult. Uh, I can hit speed here again probably, but this time let's just keep it pinned. 
Well, no, actually, I gotta slow down a lot. Like Zoe is just like, what are you doing, Zoe? Now look at that distance build up. If you're not familiar with it, if you are, you're already saying it. Roman cubits. It's not meters. It's not yards. When I research to figure out what measurement lines up, it's Roman cubits. Basically, for every meter you travel, you're getting credited with 2.25 meters. If you reverse engineer that, you get 44.444 centimeters or 17.48, rounded off to 49 inches. Weird unit of measurement. They have no idea how it happened. They can never fix it because it would mess up all flashback events. So, oh well, it's virtual, hey? It's a virtual meter or a virtual yard. It's just funny that it's an actual Rowan cubit. Boom, you don't want to hit Zoe too hard or you will fail because it did say to keep it clean. I'm pretty sure it said keep it clean. Huh. You know what? If it didn't say keep it clean, we could smash up Zoe and that would slow her down. Ah, there's no use. No use in doing that. So now what you could do, you could let Zoe lap you. Um, maybe I should have done that. I don't know. So I think second place might be second place, but let's just, I'll, I'll go to the pit lane here. Pit lane. Woo! Because maybe it isn't. So that slowed it down a little bit. Okay, now it's upgrade time. I could not do this with the upgrades I've got. I gave it a try many times. Not possible. So this is the actual total cost of those upgrades. Just shy of 1.6 million R dollars and 320 gold. That's going from zero upgrades all the way to what you saw there. And I'm driving up to the top right away. That could slow me down a bit because I just drove uphill, but I've got a strategy because um, I want to start logging that average speed. Now, Zoe slows down a lot here. Don't, don't try to catch draft from her here. It's just a waste of your time. Drive down out of this. And the, uh, see, if I stay here, she's gonna slow down as she approaches me. So I'm staying low and I'm waiting and I'm waiting and I'm waiting and then I'm gonna suddenly go up because I want her to get really close to give me a really good push into this corner. If you risk that too much, she'll do the pit, pit maneuver on you. But I wanted a huge push into that corner. And you'll see, I actually, it was okay the way I did it. That worked pretty good. Here I'm hitting speed just close to the line, but not too bad. So there you go, stage six, still not all that bad. I'm still not at recommended PR, I'm happy with this. So please like, please subscribe, drop me a comment if you want to. Here's the playlist link and some other videos you might find interesting. Thanks for joining me today.